Hey folks, Kel Kellogg here. I'm coming to you from my backyard again and it is time for another video podcast. Um, Today's one of those transitional days for me. I just published a magazine yesterday. Um, today I'm doing a bunch of chores. I'm doing some writing for the next issue of the Fish Differ magazine and uh, I'm moving some firewood, raking leaves. But I was out on the water last week and I had some questions about knots and uh, I just grabbed, I actually grabbed my, my favorite jig rod, this is my big old seeker, um, it's matched with a pen reel, but it has has nice blue Yozuri braid on there. So I'm going to demonstrate a couple knots today, and I thought you could see that line really well. It's going to be a few cuts in this video because I might have to trim the trim the lure off and then retie it, stuff like that. But anyway, let's get started. I've been fishing for a long time, and I do know some fancy fishing knots. Um, but my general philosophy is when it comes to knots, learn a couple reliable knots, keep it simple, and, uh, and just use those. When you're out there, it's, it's the heat of battle. Picture it, we're out on a boat, maybe it's rough, maybe we got eight, nine foot swells, a lingcod bite's going strong, or maybe we're in the delta striper fishing and it's getting dark, and we need to tie on some tackle and we need to tie it on quickly. Those situations are not the time to be tying a very complicated knot. You need something that's simple, something that's reliable, something that you know how to tie, and that you're 100% confident in. And for me, that means two knots. One, the Palomar. Two, the improved clinch knot and a bunch of variations of the improved clinch knot. So let's go through some of those knots right now. I'll share with you the knots I use. I know this video is gonna make some of the purists out there crazy because I'm, I'm gonna do some things and, and advise some things that, uh, that, that really aren't in vogue. Um, but anyway, let's get started. Let's talk knots. Here we go. We'll start off with a Palomar knot. So here we go, whether you're using braided line or mono, the Palomar knot is one of the simplest, one of the best knots that you can use. It's 90 plus percent reliable in terms of the breaking strength of the line in reference to the breaking strength of the knot. A lot of times when you tie a knot, certain knots will reduce the breaking strength of the line by 40, 50 percent in some cases. So it's nice to have a knot that's gonna break at about the same weight as the line you're using. But anyway, let's get started. Here's a Palomar, here's how I tie it. I think I got enough slack to kind of approach the camera here. So let me step up here. What I'm gonna be tying on, I just kind of randomly grab this. It's a big old two ounce bucktail jig and I think you'll be able to see it pretty well. So what I do when I tie a Palomar, I take the line, I pass it through the eye and then I'll, I'll pass it back through again. And what you're really trying to achieve is just a double line like that. Just a double line through the eye of the of the hook or the snap or whatever you're trying to tie on. At that point, here's what you do. Tie a simple granny knot like so. And don't draw that down. It's kind of confusing. So don't draw that down. I've just tied a granny knot and I've got the, uh, the tag end of that doubled line. And what I'm gonna do once I, I have the, the granny in place, I'm gonna take that lure and I'm gonna drop it through the loop formed in that tag end. At that point, I'm just gonna start to slide everything down. Just slide it all down, draw it down, There you go. You got a Pelomar knot. You want to trim this tag end off here. And, and this is one of the things that's going to drive people crazy. Let me, let me whip out my pocket knife. I don't like to cut my tag ends off super short. I feel that the tag is kind of my insurance against the knot slipping. Now, I don't have big concerns. I'd leave that about like that. I'd fish with that, that tag just like that right now. I don't have big concerns about a Pelomar knot slipping, but it's always my practice to leave a little bit of tag end regardless of what kind of knot I'm tying. It just gives me insurance against that knot slipping. So that's the Pelomar knot. That's my number one knot. If I need a strong, reliable knot, that's what I go with. I can tie it really fast and it's a really good knot. But let's move on. Let's move on to the improved clinch knot. 
Now I'll show you how to tie a classic improved clinch knot. Let me trim this off here. That's a good sharp knife. That's my one of my uh, Kershaws. That's a nice sharp blade. Anyway, <clears throat> put that away for a second. Now I'll bet you most everyone that's a fisherman that's watching this video knows how to tie the improved clinch knot. It's not as strong a knot as a Pelomar. It's not as reliable as a Pelomar, but it is a speedy knot and uh, it will work. And there's some modifications you can do that make it even better. But let's do a classic clinch knot. Take your line, pass it through the eye, just like that. Finger there. Make anywhere from five to seven twists. I'm gonna get closer so you can see this. Five to seven twists, so one, two, two, there's three, four, five, let's go with six, right there, six. Now you take that, that end, slide it through that loop formed around your finger, and then take that end and pass it through this loop here. That is your improved clinch knot. Let me grab it. Wet it. You saw me wet it. Always wet your knots. Tie that. Pull that down. Now, that tag you see right there, I could trim that off. Okay? But in this case, because an improved clinch knot, especially one tied with braid, it can slip. So, Instead of trimming that off, it's not going to hurt me at all. If a big old striper or a lingcod or, you know, whatever I'm fishing for wants to inhale that bucktail jig, that piece of tag line is not going to interfere with anything. I might trim it off a little shorter than that, but the bottom line is, I leave that tag end on there. It's not going to hurt you. It's giving you insurance from the not slipping on a big fish. But there's a couple other things we can do that make this an even more reliable knot. So let's cut that off. First, the first things you can do is just take the line, take the line, pass it through the eye one time, just like we did before, but bring it back around, pass it through there again. So really what you end up with is the line doubled around the eye of whatever you're tying on so and I'll, I'll draw that down you can see we just simply have the line pass through there and it's 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 through there twice so now we just proceed as we normally would with our improved clinch knot make our wraps we're wrapping we're wrapping stick the line through that hole bring it back through this loop here wet it, draw it down, trim the tag to a point that you're comfortable with, and what you've got, you've got a little bit of slip prevention because that line goes around the eye of the hook two times. So you got a little bit more slip prevention there. I'd probably leave a half inch, three quarters inch of tag on that, and I'm good to go. I trust that I could land a sturgeon on that knot. I am 100% confident in that knot. As long as my drag's adjusted properly, I'm gonna land fish on that knot. If you really want insurance, and but you wanna stick with, a, with an improved clinch knot, here's, here's the final variation that I, that I recommend. This is a good one. It's a little harder to tie, but not much. What you wanna do is take your line, you want to run your line through there double. And I, I can't really fold it over and double it because there's all kinds of paint on that eye. So I'll just stick it through going that way. I'll pull some line. And then I'll stick it back through this way. And now we're kind of back to where we started with that Palomar. We've got the line doubled going through that eye. That's all. No big deal. At this point, just pretend it's a single line. Go ahead, pull it down. We're going to tie an improved clinch knot with the line doubled. So I'm going to do the same thing. If you're doubling a line like this, probably keep your wraps down to five. So there's three and four and five. Okay. So pass it through there. Pass it back through here. Just like a standard improved clinch knot. Grab the line. Let it. Draw it down. Now. 
what you're going to end up with with here you've got a tag end here that you're going to trim off that's the the remainder of the double line so we'll uh, trim that and then the true tag you can see there is doubled there's a loop in it so go ahead and trim that back too I'm gonna leave that one a little bit longer maybe maybe a quarter inch something of that order but what you end up with got a few got a few tags on there as you can see you got uh, the double tag end there from that was that loop and then you got the other tag end there but your line is doubled through there in the center of that knot that line is doubled that is an extremely strong knot i don't know if it's as strong as a palomar but i'll tell you what i've caught some huge fish using that knot including tuna you know approaching 100 pounds i've not had a failure because of that knot so anyway without any uh any any further talk really i use two knots i use the palomar and I use the improved clinch knot. I use those two knots about 90% of the time. I do those two variations of the improved clinch knot if I think I need a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra strength and reliability. But uh, if you're looking for a couple simple knots that won't fail you out on the water, learn how to tie an improved clinch knot, learn how to tie a Palomar, get some practice. You wanna be able to tie them consistently and quickly you know, anybody could tie a knot out here in their backyard. That's all fun and games. When the rubber meets the road is when you're on a wide open lingcod bite and you're in rough water or it's getting dark or you're in a hurry or it's cold and your fingers are stupid. Whatever it is, practice them, keep it simple, and uh, you'll always have a reliable knot connecting you to the fish, which is nice. The whole point is landing the fish, not just hooking them. So anyway, give those two knots a try. I'll be back real soon uh, with another video podcast. And right now, I got to get busy because I got a whole list of chores to do today. Anyway, enjoy your day. I'll catch you later. This is Cal Kellogg signing off. Well, as you can see there behind me, I'm doing a pretty good job on the firewood. And I also did, you got to check this out. I also did a really... A really cool job on my back window so anyway maybe I should be fishing instead of doing chores but uh, I gotta find somebody to fix that now anyway I'll catch you later Cal Kellogg signing off again